Texans. Talk with Texans. It's Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial official Texans pregame show. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans Talk with Texans. And now here are your hosts, Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rogers. the show uh it's been two weeks hey it's yeah. great to be here yeah oh, oh special sorry guys. Uh, special guys. Bar, sergio, sergio guerra yeah thanks subscribers <laughs> i just subscribe personally <laughs> you should too yes and uh we're live from uh the lab, the lab. aka <laughs> it's a road show it's a road show yeah it's a road show um so let me introduce myself yeah i'm sergio guerra this is your co-host, Nick Rogers. <laughs> what the hell is and that? And our lead host. Uh, God dang. Yeah, Joe Cool the Greaser. Um, so how was y'all's uh, week, week, uh, two-week uh, uh, hiatus? Uh, good. <laughs> and I heard a new song on the radio. Oh, yeah? That's great. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> you say two weeks, but it feels like years. I think the last time I was involved with football was probably on Tecmo Bowl and... Nintendo, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that was a long time. Yeah. And you Before never that, played with us either. Exactly. Yeah, never had the time. You get to, we met that. this guy on the school bus. He yeah. was the one that you could never get a seat. Well, the, the tuba was up. <laughs> never mind. Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, how was your weekend, Joe? Uh, my weekend was, you know, it was fantastic. That's great. It's cool. I ate a new, uh, some chicken and wings. And beer? <laughs> and beer. Wow. <laughs> um, I take hey, his line. What about the Texans? Who are they playing next? Oh, they're playing the Cleveland Browns. Cle- Cleveland Browns. What happens in Cleveland? Everything happens in Cleveland for a reason. But let- Stays in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll it. Let's roll it back. Uh, let's talk about. Yeah, just talk about the loss. The, man. the loss. Oh, yeah. I was trying to avoid it. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. Go. I was trying to, go I was trying to beat it. Yeah. We can't beat it. And neither did the Texans. How'd you feel about the loss? Hey, I'm supposed to ask you, but how'd you feel about the loss? I was devastated. I was pissed off and everything else, you know, just like other Texans fans were. How'd you feel about it? I mean, what do we, you think about the, you know, I don't know. We didn't generate any offense. No. And it seems like the defense keeps on scoring, but our offense is, you know, it's, crappy. Yeah. And that quarterback of ours, it's benched. As a matter of fact, he might as well got fired on his day off. Why are you taking this? <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny because I was gonna I was gonna talk about that, and he actually stole what I was gonna say. That's part of being a co-host these days. Yeah. <laughs> They're always looking for their break. <laughs> this could be his. He's trying to cut in. Anyways, uh, so basically, how could you uh, be fired on your day off? Ryan Fitzpatrick being replaced by Ryan Mallett. Uh, what's the story on Ryan Mallett? I don't know about that, but Stop the Press. Wasn't there a movie, a movie? related to somebody getting fired on their day off? Why you didn't work? Got fired yesterday. For real? I thought you had a day off yesterday. I did. God damn. You got to be a stupid motherfucker to get fired on your day off. How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? That was great. You remember that? <laughs> that was so funny. Oh god. That was so hilarious. <laughs> so let's talk about the Texans. You know they're going against the Browns. Um, yeah. They're going to Cleveland. I don't know what the stadium's called. Do you? It's called the. the is dog, it called the Dog Pound still? The Dog Pound. Yeah, the Dog Pound. Like our senior hall, like. I don't know about that. I don't know if it still is. It used to be called the Dog Pound, you know, one of the toughest. Uh, one of the toughest stadiums to play in. Yeah. All I can say about anything brown is going down, and I probably flushed it. Yeah. Oh. 
Neither. Never mind. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so it's gonna be real cold over there. Yeah. Uh, I heard 33 below. I don't know. Is that... Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that for real? I know. That's that's what Nick <laughs> that, told that's, me. That's what I heard. Negative degrees. Yeah. It's and pretty cold, man. That's a sucky place to live. It's not like Houston. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, so Cushing and Clowney are expected to play. Yeah. What do you think about that? Well, if you ask the guy who doesn't follow football, yeah. I think it's great. I can get away with it. Fantastic. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. And yeah. anybody will believe me because I'm on the internet. There yeah. you go. The All interweb, right. yeah. That's me. Big. Well, think? I think um, that'd be good for the team. I think I'm just going to cut him off. I think we need to hear from Joe. Yeah, um, well, it's going to make our defense even stronger than it has been. I think I need to cut him off. I think we need to hear from Nick. All right. Stronger overall. And I'm going to take a look to contribute to the team. That's one, two. Attribute to the team? No, contribute. Oh, contribute. Any way they can to help the team win. Any yeah. kind of con, any kind of pro, doesn't matter. Con, contribute. There you con go. Anyways, so I heard Foster's out because uh, he got some bad case of blue balls. Do you well, know what that is? No, I don't. You ever had any? No. Not on wood. You got to get it first to get it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. You didn't hear that from me. No. Anyways, so he's off uh, a growing strain or some crap like that. Yeah. Um, he's been out. Growing, from what I hear. The one injury. This is the second so, game. How many games has he been out? No, this would be his first one. First his one. first yeah. one? Yeah. He didn't go out. Yeah. Nah. That's how it works in the mm. NFL. Well, actually, this is, actually, I'm in the wrong business. This, no, this is the second time. Oh, excuse me. The second time? Oh, yeah. Okay. I could be wrong. Anyways, uh, he's being replaced by Alfred Blue. Yeah. Sounds kind of like Batman's butler, but uh, what do we think about Alfred? Alfred? Okay. Well, are we talking about Batman? No, we're talking about <laughs> Alfred, Alfred Blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the Michael Caine hey, character. Hey, Alfred, hey, Alfred <laughs> Blue is a good, good enough. Spread that for uh, Aaron Foster because uh -huh. I mean overall Aaron Foster picks up the slack, but he's out. He's out. Don't know how long he'll be out, and Alfred Blue will, will take up the slack where he left off. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Yeah, but he's just one guy. Hey, he, he takes a team to win. Hey, did you ever see that narrator? One man. Can make a difference. Okay, we're gonna have to cut this part. <laughs> yeah, right. but, hey, I'm hey, sorry, I'm going out talking to myself. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, night right. Hey, he's just one guy. That's right. Yeah, he's just one guy. It takes a team. Well, yeah, it does take a team. That's why we hope Ryan Mallett pulls the team together. Yeah, he doesn't uh, win. Bill O'Brien, you know. Him and his coaching staff need to do a good job and call it out plays. But better eat their lucky charms too. <laughs> yeah, just they, saying, O'Brien. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This kind of goes with lucky charms. <laughs> just, just felt like saying. That. Okay. Because I had it this morning. They're pretty good. I mean, uh, Brian is from uh, New England, also. Did you know that? Well, now that you tell me. Yes. Now he knows. <laughs> yes. And now he's You know, there's a the saying. And he said it. There you go. You know, I was a kid once. I think it was like 1984, 1985. Okay. Hey, going just half the battle, and you know what? They always get great public messages at the end of those shows. Do I remember any of them? Live long and prosper? Don't talk to strangers. Don't what? pull your money out in front of people. Don't pull your money out in front of people. I remember those. Huh. Great public but, messages. What is the Texans doing for public image these days? Oh, AGB. Have you seen AGB a lot? They're selling ice cream. Eating a bunch of garbage. That's what they do. Get That's helping the community. Eating hey. ice cream? Hey. I'm not bashing the guy. Hey, that's, that's that. why that's why Bob and Air gives them or pays them a hundred million reasons why he is the best. Because he eats ice cream best. from H E B. So we got your five keys to beat the uh Yeah, beat thank you for making it up, Joe. Number one. Number one. One offense, defense, and quarterback. All three Position did play good. Two turnovers. Number three, better play calling. Number four, four is the same as number three, no turnovers. Number five, just win. You heard it. That's 
pretty good. Just one thing. And uh, from that, uh, I agree with them. And uh, that concludes our show. Uh, catch us next week as we go against the who? Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals, that's right. The Bengals. But we're going one, one game at a we'll time. We'll give that time. And Subscribe. Subscribe. At least for this guy. Like and dislike whatever you want. Make a comment. Put a comment. Who yeah. cares? Say, I don't. Yeah. It's just words. <laughs> you know, the texty pads. Anyways, uh, thanks, Sergio, for being on the show. Yeah, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. Have, well, I appreciate you guys being here. Oh, yeah. More than welcome. That's right. I may travel on the road show one day. Yeah. All right. I might be back. All right. Sounds good. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds like Tony the Tiger, but he's not a Bengal. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Yeah. We'll see y'all next week. All right. How's it, Rogers? <laughs> I'm Sergio Guerra. And I'm Joe Kulagrisa. And we are Texans Talk with Texans. Texans. See y'all next week. <laughs> <laughs>